to back to school routines. So last week's Mommy Monday focused on the little ones heading back to school for the first time, but today we're focusing on the older kids. Yes, and I spoke to a world-renowned pediatrician and child development expert, Dr. Harvey Carr, mm -hmm. who we've had on before, and he offered up some great tips and tricks, which I hope will help you. Take a look. The more you're prepared going into a situation, the more uh, mastery you can have and, and the greater sense of, um, of protection, I guess. Mm, yeah, because as parents, that's all we want to do, right? We want to protect our kids, but we also want to do it without being too invasive on their independence, right? That they're trying to acquire as we let them go into the schools. <laughs> Well, but you know, that's a, actually a perfect point about being invasive, because one of the things we tend to do as parents is when they come back was, how was your day? What did you do? Those kinds of open-ended questions um, kids really don't like. Young kids don't like them, older kids. It was fine. Nothing really. Uh, just work. You know, I mean, they, they don't wax very eloquent in describing those things. Um, so it helps us to be a little bit more um, specific in our questions, you know, um, who are you sitting next to, you know, um, um, who's, you know, uh, where, where in the class are you sitting, you know, um, what does your teacher say to start things out, you know, does she pick on everybody evenly, you know, or he pick on people even, you know, some very specific questions that can help to demonstrate that you're not just kind of, that you truly are interested. Mm -hmm. uh, and they may not answer right then, but I guarantee if you do that, you know, um, this week and next week, they're going to sense that you really are invested in finding out because ultimately they want to share, but they don't necessarily trust that, you know, you're not going to judge them or, or try to, you know, tell them how to be. Um, you know, I always like to tell my patients that God gave us two ears and one mouth so that we listen twice as much as we speak. And especially for kids getting back to school, don't rush, don't don't feel like you have to solve the problem. You know, first mm -hmm. just kind of hear them out and go, wow, oh, that can be tough, you know, and so that you're implying that they have the capability within themselves to to figure things out. And that can certainly be applied, as you mentioned, you know, to all ages for our children, right? Yeah, especially teenagers and, and preschoolers, because, you know, mom, <laughs> you ask something, right? You know, they're kind of trying to separate from us, which is a good thing. We want them to learn to be independent. Um, and so we can pry things out of them. Uh, we do have to set limits, though. We are parents, so there are expectations. Like, this is the time that you you got to do your homework before you do your Instagram or before you're doing these other things. Um, having rules and expectations is a good thing for teenagers. Having chores, you know, you're doing your homework, that's important, but you also have household chores as well. Mm -hmm. I think it's important teaching responsibility in that way. Um, and, uh, and, of course, with responsibilities come rights. You know, when you do these things, then you will get to do the privileges that you're hoping to have so that, and and for the older kids, even writing a contract I find is helpful so that hmm. um, two weeks later, they're not saying, well, that's not what I agreed to. You know, you get it in black and white and they feel very adult to sign their name to a contract or an agreement. Um, and it doesn't mean that the agreement, you're not going to take them to court, right? I right, mean, right. <laughs> you know, if it didn't work out. You go, well, gosh, we had an agreement, but it didn't work out. What happened? How can we make it work out better? Mm -hmm. So this is really an opportunity to grow, not a, not a chance to kind of wag a finger at a child. Right. Oh, I love that contract idea. I've never thought of that before. Mm -hmm. I'm going to have to steal that when my kids get a little older. <laughs> Thank you, Dr. Carp. All right, and Dr. Carp also discussed how important it is for your kids to get into the habit of winding down 30 minutes before bed and sticking to a regular bedtime. Easier said than done, right? <laughs> you can hear the full conversation with Dr. Carp on my podcast, Mommyhood Unscripted. It's available on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, and wherever else you get your podcasts, so make sure to subscribe today. I was going to say, I think that's good advice for adults, too. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> Wish we could get into the same routine, right? Hard to on this shift. <laughs>